share about the noisy classroom. The first day of school is coming. Everyone in school knows that Miss Johnson's class is the noisiest. Even with the doors closed, music and chatter can be heard outside in the hall. Now it's the end of summer which means going back to the school. This time to the noisy classroom. Let's start reading. The Noisy Classroom written by Angela Shante and illustrated by Alison Hawkins. In my school, Miss Johnson teaches third grade. This is the noisy class. The door is always closed, but when I go to the bathroom, I hear music wafting into the hallway. Music in school? The absurdity! In my classroom, we sit in orderly columns and rows and only speak when called on. Miss Johnson's students chatter all day and loudly tumble into the hall. In my class, we walk in two silent lines. Every day after school, parents wait impatiently outside Miss Johnson's class even though school lets out at 3 p.m. Who would want to spend one extra minute in school? And Miss Johnson is noisy too. She likes to sing loud and she is always dancing. I think she is very odd. I am going to third grade next year. Any class but the noisy class will do. When I find out I'll be going to Miss Johnson's class, I tell my parents I am never ever going back to school. I tell them I will get a job and move to Antarctica. They speak in worried, hushed voices when they think I'm not listening. That summer, they make my favorite foods for every Sunday dinner but empanadas and jerk chicken will not make me budge. All summer I worry. All summer I pack for my move to Antarctica. You don't know, it might be fun, Pa says. I can have fun in Antarctica, I mumble. Ma says, you will be in the class with Maya, but I think Maya and I can move to Antarctica together. Soon it is September. I trudge up the stairs to room 308. Nervous third graders line up in the hallway. I wave to some of my friends in line and one rarely waves back. They look like they would rather be in Antarctica too. I try to make one last plea to my parents but they smile and give me four thumbs up. We wait and wait. At 8 a.m., the door to room 308 swings open. Miss Johnson bells out, Good morning! I walk into the classroom and swallow a cry when she closes the door behind us. I will move to Antarctica tomorrow, I promise myself. This class looks weird. There are only a few chairs, some balls, a wobbly two-leg stool, and a huge floor rug. Where is everyone supposed to sit? Miss Johnson says, find a comfortable spot. Anywhere? This is chaos, I think. I sit on the rug next to Colin and Maya. We look uneasily at one another. We could all move to Antarctica together. Ms. Johnson says every day will begin with morning class meetings and we will always end the day cleaning up. A clean house is a happy mouse. I think that is odd. A mouse would probably be happier living in a dirty house. But that isn't even the weirdest part of the day. Every lesson seems like a game. I have to admit it is really fun. But I keep thinking, are we going to learn anything today? When we play math ball, I know how to skip count by threes and make three shots for my team. After lunch, we pretend to be ants and write stories from our tiny point of view. 
The day passes by in a blur. I don't remember learning one single thing. Before I know it, it is 3:1 p.m. and we just finished tidying up the classroom. When Miss Johnson opens the door, she apologizes for keeping us late. She sings each student out in a robot voice. This makes the parents and students laugh. That night at dinner, my parents want to know all the details, the good, the bad, and the odd. I try not to sound too thrilled when I tell them about the poem Miss Johnson read by Nikki Juwani. I tell them we played all day and didn't learn a single thing. Ma got that worried crinkle between her eyebrows. I tell them that I'm still considering Antarctica and Pa shoots Ma a look as he passes the plantains. The rest of the week whizzes by. We play math ball, write calculations on our desk with dry erase markers and freeze dance all the way to lunch. As you can imagine, we are quite noisy. Freeze. On Friday, I notice a line of second graders at the water fountain. They quietly stand in two neat rows. I wait my turn in the back. Under my breath, I sing the cleanup song Miss Johnson taught us, and the kids look at me suspiciously. I hear one of them call me "Ard." When I open the classroom door, the cleanup song wafts into the hall. Miss Johnson is singing and doing a shoulder shimmy. I turn around to the second graders and think, "My noisy class is way better than Antarctica." The end. Thanks for watching, kids.